Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. Now that summer's approaching, I've been working on my balcony space and I really wanted to take you guys along some of my DIYs that I'm creating. So this video is gonna be a little bit different than my typical DIY videos. This is more of a DIY with me slash vlog style video. So I hope that you guys like the formatting of this video. So the project we're working on today is actually a shelf that I got on OfferUp many, many months ago. So I'm really excited to finish it and just fill the whole thing up with plants. And once this project is done, it's going to be a part of my balcony makeover, so make sure that you guys stay tuned. And before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. So let me take you guys off of this tripod and bring you guys outside. So here is the first project that we're working on. I feel like a few of you guys have seen this in my background before and have asked about it. So I actually got this on offer up for a really good price, but the only thing is it doesn't come with any shelves. So that is going to be our first project today. This is going to be my plant shelf. So my idea is to put some wood. Thank you. So my idea is to make some shelves and then maybe paint this. I'm not quite sure yet. I think I'm going to ask you guys over on Instagram and get your opinions. But I do like the black and this is made out of like an iron material. So it's a little bit harder to kind of paint over. So we shall see. Hello from voiceover Tina. So to start, I just went ahead and measured everything out so that our shelves would fit perfectly inside of each of the bars. And then I set out to the hardware store to get some wood for our shelves. So I just got back from the hardware store, but unfortunately their wood cutter is down. So I don't have anything that I can cut wood with. So instead I bought some MDF board. My plan is just to use what I already have, which is a box cutter. And this one is the one that I have from Dollar Tree. And I'm basically just gonna score it a bunch of times and then bend it and hopefully that works out. I've used that method in the past, but this one's a little bit thicker. So hopefully we can get it to work. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to cut our boards, I'm using a utility knife to score along the marks. So first, I'm marking everything out on our boards just to get the measurements just right. And to cut our boards, I'm using a box cutter to score along the marks, and I'm going to do this several times until our cut is about halfway or over halfway through the board. And you guys, please, please, please always wear the right gear to protect yourself. I couldn't find my gloves, so I started this project with my bare hands, but later on, I actually did find them and put them on to protect my hands. All right, so now that we have our first cut through the whole length of the board, I'm just gonna go ahead and bend it slightly to make sure that the cut is deep enough. Then I'm just gonna snap it and we're gonna get a nice break. So here's how it's looking and of course, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the edges later so that it's nice and crispy. Then I'm gonna repeat that process again, scoring it until it's about halfway through the board so that we can finish off our shelf. And this process actually was not too bad. I know that it was not my original plan to use this board, but I think it's a great workaround, especially if you don't have other tools to cut through thicker materials. So I just snapped it one more time and now we have our first little shelf. Okay, so this is what we have. It looks pretty good, and now it is time for the moment of truth. Let's put it in. Sorry. Oh, no. This is definitely too big. So this is actually supposed to sit inside of the shelf, but I definitely did my measurements wrong, and now it's sitting right on top, so... I might just leave this one the way it is and then cut this one the exact size so that we can actually make it look nice. I'm either gonna leave this as is or go back and cut it even smaller, but it's a little bit tricky, especially since I'm slicing it. But at least this one will be right and then the other two will be even better. So let me go ahead and cut them. Okay, so I have no idea why I thought that Dollar Tree box cutter was gonna do the job, but I made Brian go back to Home Depot and grab me an actual utility knife. So now I have this one, and this one just is so much more sturdy. I think it's gonna save me a lot more time. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this knife, and please do not play yourself if you guys also think you can get away with a little box cutter from the Dollar Tree. Definitely use the right tools when you're cutting through thicker materials. Okay, so using this knife was just so much better, and the blade made it so much easier easier just to cut through the board. 
And working on this project honestly reminded me of one of my art professors in college. Whenever we were working with our X-Acto knife, she would always remind us to tuck in our fingers. And she told us that she actually cut her fingers so many times that part of her fingerprints are missing, which honestly freaks me out. I hope that me telling you guys this story reminds you to stay safe when you're working with any tools. And in a second, you guys are going to see what happens when you don't. I'm taking a little bit of a break right now, but I did ask you guys over on Instagram if you guys think that I should paint the shelf or not. And surprisingly, a majority of you guys said to just keep it and not paint it. And I definitely agree with you guys, so I'm just gonna keep it black. And I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. So I messed up big time. I cut my finger. I cut my finger on the blade and I'm really just embarrassed that I didn't just put on a pair of gloves so that I could protect myself. And this is definitely something that I preach on my channel. So make sure that you guys are always staying safe and protecting yourself, especially when you're DIYing with tools that could potentially be dangerous. So I did find my gloves, so I'm gonna put them on and luckily my finger isn't too bad where I can't work with it anymore. So I'm just gonna power through and finish up the rest of the shelves. <music> I seriously have the best view ever. Look how pretty that is. Hey guys, it's the next day now, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover my shelves. So what I plan on doing is using some of this burlap and basically just wrapping the whole entire thing. So here's a close up of it, but this is a really nice woven texture. It kind of reminds me of woven cane, but I think this is gonna be a lot easier to work with. So I have my staple gun here, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the shelves. That was a fail. <laughs> so I did film a clip of me talking, but for some reason it is not on my card. So here we are, I'm doing a voiceover for this part. To complete the shelf, all I'm gonna do is to cut the burlap to size, and then I'm gonna staple it onto each edge of the back side of the board. And I'm gonna keep this as taut as possible just to make sure that the burlap lays nice and flat. Once all the edges are stapled on, I'm just gonna cut out the corner pieces and that way our edges can lay flat on top of each other and we're just gonna staple those down one last time. I also would like to admit that this is my first time using a staple gun, so it did take a bit of trial and error to get it just right, but by the end of it, I got the hang of it. I also want to know if you guys have any suggestions on how I could waterproof my shelves. For now, I'm not too worried about it because I plan on moving this indoors eventually and LA doesn't really get a lot of rain anyways. So I'm thinking of maybe getting some glass cut to protect the shelves or maybe even using some type of top coat spray. So let me know your thoughts down below. So here's how our shelf is looking. I think it looks pretty good. I do have a couple of wonky staples right here, but you know what? I'm still learning, that's totally fine. And when we flip it over, it's beautiful! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Okay, I'm gonna pop this in. Hard to do with one hand. <gasps> oh my gosh, it looks so good! I love it! For now, I'm styling my shelf with plants that I already have and I get really harsh lighting in the evening so you guys are going to see the new plants that I buy for this space in my next video. But of course, I wanted you to get a bit of an idea of how this piece is going to look all styled up. Even though we ran into a few bumps along the way, it just feels so good to finally finish the shelf. It's the perfect shelf for my plant babies. The arches originally caught my eye when I saw this piece online and I think that adding in the neutral burlap texture against the black frame makes it look super modern. And I cannot wait to show you guys the full effect when this balcony space is all done. I hope you guys like DIYing with me and learn something new. I'm really happy with how the shelf turned out and I think it was also a good reminder just to make things work, especially when things don't go according to plan. As a DIYer, you will always figure out a way to make it work. I'm just so happy that I finally crossed this project off of my list. And I can't wait to show you guys the full effect because my balcony makeover is coming up next after this video. I just love summer so much and I cannot wait to finish the balcony and show you guys it on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. That's it for me today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. 
watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.